Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my experience of going to Kenya with Camps International, which is basically a charity and a company that takes schools and groups on trips to different places around the world, obviously including Kenya, to go and do voluntary work and make an impact and make a difference on people's lives. From the 26th of July to the 23rd of August, I was away in Kenya with camps. I feel like this video is gonna be quite a long chatty video, so I've made myself a cup of tea. It's all fundraising, so for these sorts of trips, it is all charity and it's all fundraising out of your own money. So it was really, really difficult to do the fundraising, to be honest, especially with COVID, like we couldn't do as much as we'd planned to do. However, obviously we got there in the end. So over on Instagram, I asked you guys to ask any questions that you have about Kenya. And honestly, one of the most commonly asked questions was kind of like, how did I get into it? How did I go about getting a place on the trip? And so for me, this trip was organised through school, which I think is the most common way that they're organised. And honestly, I'm not actually sure how you would go about it without school, especially for camps. I mean, I'm sure there's lots of different ways that you can get involved with stuff like this, um, but mine was through school. The next question is, who did you go with? So originally it was just meant to be people from my school, um, but because of COVID, a lot of people dropped out to the point where there were only 10 of us going from my school. So we were actually on a team with 10 other people who were all solo travellers, which was honestly amazing. I'm so glad it worked out like that because it meant that we were meeting people that we would never have met otherwise. Next question was, how did you get there? So we got the bus down from our school to Heathrow Airport and that was about four hours. And then we had our plane, which was direct from Heathrow to Nairobi airport and that took eight and a half hours. Next question is another really commonly asked question and that is what did you do there? So I'm going to try and insert some like pictures as I talk about it but basically it's a four week volunteering trip so it's all pretty much project work and conservation work to help the communities and help the wildlife. So the first camp one of our first projects was doing a litter pick so we would like walk out of the camp and go and collect all the litter around that had come through the river because our camp was called Athi River, like it was on a river. We set up motion cameras, uh, we set up lion deterrent lights to deter the light lions away from like the uh, farmland. And then at the second camp, the main project was in the school. So we were repairing a floor in one of the classrooms and then we were also building a ramp. Yeah, one of my favorite projects that we did was deworming the goats. That was actually so fun. You like we chase these goats around a pen and then you have a syringe of the deworming medicine and squirt it into their mouth like that was the Over best the course day. of the summer because we were one of the last groups to go basically we like went quite late in the summer but over the course of the summer different groups had been building mud huts so the structure of them was already there and what we were doing was finishing it off and we actually ended up finishing off a mud hut and we met the mama that is going to be living there yeah what we were doing on that mud hut was plastering the inside wall i'll put a picture up of my wall that i plastered this was so fun to do you literally made the plaster out of sand and water and throw it on the walls and then spread it out and it was probably my favorite project um and we also painted the inside and the outside and did the floor in there so that was actually a really good project because you could definitely see the difference that you were making. Second camp, we also made um, elephant deterrent fences, which this is a picture of it here. And we basically cut up strips of metal and put them along a wire and it stops the elephants from getting into the farmland and eating, destroying all the crops and stuff. And then one of the other things that we did, which was honestly the most amazing thing, was we went on safari and somebody asked what was my favorite animal that we saw on safari. So. My favourite animal that we saw was definitely the elephants because there were so many of them and they were so close to the safari truck that the, we were in. Like, I loved seeing the lions because, like, it was just so weird just to see lions in the wild. For the zebras because they are so pretty. The next question is, where did you stay? So, at the different camps, we stayed in quite similar, like, accommodation. Um, so it's basically like wooden huts and things. I've got a picture of one of the rooms that we stayed in. They're very basic, just like bunk beds and stuff, mosquito nets over the beds, but like the beds were fine. Like it, 
wasn't the comfiest thing ever obviously but it wasn't uncomfortable it was better than i thought it was gonna be another person has asked how was the food so honestly i think this was the thing that i was most worried about because i'm not like the most fussy eater but there's definitely things i really don't like and that just makes me feel ill and then so um yeah the food was so much better than i expected i think when you're there you do just get on with it you do just eat it like and if you don't like it, it's not the end of the world. There's a lot of people who didn't like the food and would like request something. They'd be fine with that. Put some pictures on the screen. Shout out to Alfie who literally took photos of all of the meals. And these are some of his photos. Some of the food was kind of disgusting. This pasta was like not okay. And the amount of times that we had fish and green beans. I was not happy about that. But there were also some really good meals. Like we had pasta quite a lot. We did eat so much rice as well. Um, but yeah it, the food was better than i thought it would be what was the weather like the weather was so good like we did get rained on quite a few times but it wasn't anything in comparison to the amount of sunshine we had it was pretty hot like in the middle of the day especially when we were doing project work but the rest of the time like in the evenings and in the mornings it wasn't too hot or too cold so actually the weather was quite nice someone asked did you have to learn the language that they speak there so in kenya the what so where we went in Kenya, they speak Swahili and we didn't have to learn the language, but obviously there was a lot that we did get to learn. And one of the boys in our group like learned so much, like he learned um, how to say how much is it at the market. And then he also learned all the numbers like that was really impressive. Um, but I mean, I didn't learn like loads, but there was definitely a few words that we picked up. I asked, what was the best part and would you go again? So to answer that second bit. I would definitely do it again like I miss it so much already I probably wouldn't do four weeks again just because I felt so like gross and tired by the end of it that I did spend the last week kind of being like oh I just want to go home now but three week two week one million percent I would do again and the best part you know what people who are asking me this and I don't know what to say because there were so many good parts but yeah the projects that I enjoyed I've already spoken about but I'd honestly say that the best part was just like the experience of it and almost proving to myself that I'm actually capable of doing that because probably up until getting on that plane I didn't fully think that I could do it and I didn't like for so long I didn't want to go and I was too scared and stuff so I think like just proving to myself was actually the best part about it and also meeting all the people like the friends I made that so another question that I got asked quite a lot was how did I deal with feeling homesick and did I get homesick I was actually so surprised by the fact that I didn't really feel homesick until the third week. I think it was around day 23 that I actually felt like I wanted to go home. Obviously, I did miss my friends and my family and my own bed, of course, but I didn't really feel homesick until that week. And I think that was just due to feeling really tired and feeling a bit gross. Definitely speaking to people like helps and just realising that you weren't on your own and getting a hug you know that helped and after a couple of days I was completely fine again so yeah it kind of comes and goes in waves but you def you're so busy and so distracted and also like having the best time so you don't really feel homesick okay so next question is what is the fav my favorite photo that I took on the trip so that is a really hard one I think my favorite photo is gonna have to be this one with me and two of the little girls at the school they were the sweetest girls and like I just love this photo I love their faces in it what I gained from that experience was just that I could actually do it and it is so important to push yourself and do things that really scare you because that is how you're going to grow as a person and I honestly word I don't know what a word I'm thinking of but like honestly you are so capable of doing things that scare you like no matter how big or small it is whether it's literally going abroad on your own <laughs> relatively on your own for a month or whether it's like I don't know ordering for yourself a restaurant like you can literally do anything if you put your mind to it and I think that's the biggest thing that I got from that experience um but yeah obviously a big shout out to literally everyone who was on the trip love team papai but yeah i think that's going to be the end of today's video i hope that you enjoyed watching and i hope that if you do get the opportunity to do anything like this that you do take it and you do go if you want to ask me any more questions on instagram then go ahead i'm happy to answer them but yeah that is the end of this video bye guys